from Veteran Stadium, the Boston Corsairs meet the Philadelphia Freedom in a pivotal early season matchup within the Eastern League, with both teams aspiring to establish themselves as serious contenders this game promises tension, drama, and memorable moments. Boston arrives with their trademark resilience and a determined roster, while Philadelphia's electric lineup and fervent home support give them a distinct edge. Let's dive into the team breakdowns. The Boston Corsairs are a formidable team in the Eastern League's North Division, calling Fenway Park home. They are led by star slugger Dick Allen, a powerful first baseman and left fielder, known for his elite batting and significant power, serving as their inaugural number one draft pick. The pitching rotation is anchored by Burt Blylevin, a young ace with outstanding stuff and a devastating curveball providing both strikeout prowess and durability. Supporting Bly Levin is Jim Colburn, a reliable righty with solid control, and Dave McNally, a seasoned left-hander known for his excellent ground ball-inducing abilities. Veteran starters Gary Peters and Bill Singer add depth to their mix of off-speed pitches and control, while Steve Blass, Joe Horland, Barry Lersh and Stan Williams bolster a deep bullpen. The closer role is handled by Diego Segui, a seasoned veteran with dominant stuff and a lethal forkball. Offensively, the Corsairs have a well-rounded lineup. Edgar Patrick is a versatile left-handed catcher with strong defensive skills and the ability to play offensive positions. Complemented by Carl Taylor, a contact hitter who also covers first base. Dick Allen headlines the offense with his power hitting prowess, while Don Clinton adds veteran power at first base. Young Bob Robertson brings defensive excellence and power potential to the mix. In the infield, Sandy Alomar and Wayne Garrett provide strong defense and versatility with Garrett excelling at both second and third base. Jim Fregosi offers gap power and can play third base and shortstop, while Mike Schmidt, a rising star, shows elite defensive capabilities at third base alongside tremendous power potential. Ed Brinkman rounds out the infield as a reliable defensive shortstop. The outfield features Merv Redman, a versatile player with good contact hitting and plate discipline, Capable in all outfield spots, George Foster is a promising young power hitter and strong defender in center field, while Luis Melendez offers speed and solid contact hitting. Cito Gaston provides power and reliability in corner outfield spots, and veteran Jim Hickman brings additional power and on-base skills, capable of playing right field and first base. With a mix of power, speed, youth, and veteran leadership, the Corsairs are poised to be a strong contender in the league. Next for the home Philadelphia Freedom. The Philadelphia Freedom, part of the Eastern League's North Division, play at Veteran Stadium, a turf field in Philadelphia. Their roster is anchored by their number one draft pick, Carlton Fisk a standout young catcher known for his power, gap hitting, and strong defensive abilities. The Freedom's pitching staff is led by Jim Barr, a right-handed starter with exceptional control and a ground ball inducing mix of pitches. Supporting Barr are Bert Hooten, a young righty with good stuff and a sharp knuckle curve, and left-handers Tommy John, who excels at ground ball pitching and durability, and Jim Rooker, who brings good movement and breaking pitches. Dick Tidrell rounds out the rotation with his strong slider and control. In the bullpen, Norm Angelini shines with his dominant strikeout capabilities, while veterans like Joe Horner provide experience and reliable control. Sparky Lyle serves as the team's closer, bringing dominant movement and a standout slider. The Freedom's offense is built around a mix of power and contact hitting. 
Carlton Fix is complemented by Bob Montgomery, a solid contact hitter, serving as a strong backup catcher. At first base, the legendary Willie McCovey provides power and a keen batting eye, with young Pat Bork contributing gap power and defensive reliability. The middle infield is anchored by Gil Garrido and utility player Winston Enos, both bringing solid contact skills and defensive versatility. Davy Lopes adds speed and base stealing threat to second base. Richie Hebner brings power to third base, while Danny Thompson offers solid defense as shortstop. In the outfield, Dwight Evans, a promising young player, showcases gap power and strong defensive range. Joe Liss adds power and versatility, while Joe Rudy is a, constant, a consistent hitter with solid defensive skills. Rick Monday's speed and power make him a standout in center field. Veteran Manny Mota brings exceptional contact hitting and reliable corner outfield defense. Antonio Oliva adds power and skill to right field. This blend of youth, experience, power, and speed positions the Freedom as a well-rounded competitive force in the league. Only takes three tries. I'm not an announcer. I just play one at home. All right, let's look at the starting lineups for these ball clubs. First for the visiting Boston Corsairs. Batting first and playing left field, Merv Rettman, number 14. Batting second, second baseman, Wayne Garrett, number 11. Dick Allen is the third hitter. Hitting cleanup, Jim Hickman in right. Ed Kirkpatrick, the catcher. And Ed Brinkman, the shortstop. Bottom of the order, Luis Melendez, center field. Mike Schmidt at third. He's a kid. He's 22. Burt Blylevin is the starting pitcher and batting ninth. For Philadelphia, Rick Monday leads it off and plays center. Joe Rudy in left. Fisk in the three hole. Richie Hebner hitting cleanup. Manny Mota in the five hole. Danny Thompson, the shortstop in six. McCovey at seven. Garrido at, at eighth, the second baseman and the pitcher. Bert Hooten is the number nine hitter. Okay, I hope this sounds good. Let's play ball. Veteran Stadium in Philadelphia, a turf field. Let's look at the defense for the home Philadelphia Freedom. The outfield left to right. Rudy in left, Monday in center, Motor in right. The infield, third to first, Hebner at third, Thompson at short, Garrido at second, McCovey at first. The battery of Fisk and Hooten. Boston will send up Merv Rutman, Wayne Garrett, and Dick Allen in this inning. Let's play ball. Here's the perch. And it's low, ball one. Merv Rettman at the plate. Here's the pitch from Hooten. Low, ball two. Here's the 2 0. That's in there for a strike. Two and one. Here's the pitch. That's strike two. We're even at two. Here's the 2 2 pitch. He hits a ground ball, the third. He makes the pick across the diamond in time for the first out of the inning. Rettman hit a 2-2 pitch to third, ground out 5-3. Here's the second place hitter, Wayne Garrett. Here's the first pitch. Low, ball one. Here's the pitch from Hooten. That's high, 2-0. Here's the pitch from Hooten. 
Swing and a miss. Strike one. Here's the 2-1. Ground ball. Shortstop has it. Quick throw to first, and he's in time. Two up, two down. And here's Dick Allen. Number one pick for the Corsairs. Here's the pitch. Ground ball. Third baseman has it. Throw to first in time. One, two, three. Nothing across. We go to the bottom of the first. No score. Let's look at the defense for the Boston Corsairs. The outfield left to right. Redman in left. Melendez in center, Hickman in right, the infield third to first, Schmidt at third, Brinkman at short, Garrett at second, Allen at first. Pretty formidable infield. The battery, Kirkpatrick and Burt Blylevin. Blylevin is quite the pitcher. His stamina is 80, his stuff is 70. We'll see what the uh, freedom can do with him. We're go they're going to send up Rick Monday, Joe Rudy, and Carlton Fisk here in the first inning. Here's the first pitch from Bly Levin. Ground ball to first. He'll take it himself for the out. It's the first pitch to the first baseman. One away. Here's Joe Rudy. Here's the pitch from Blylevin. That's a strike call. 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1. He fouled it off. 0 2. 0 2 pitch coming. That's low for a ball. 1 and 2. The pitch. Fouled it away. One and two the count. One out, nobody on. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss very late on that. And that's the second out. Here's Carlton Fisk, the number one pick for Philadelphia. The franchise, if you will. Fly 11 offers. Swing, fouled it away. 0-1 pitch coming. Swings. Fouled it to the left side. Fisk is up there hacking. 0-2. Two. two out, nobody on. Here's the pitch. He hits a fly ball. And it's foul. And out of play. 0-2 pitch coming for Fisk. There's the drive, left field, he's there, makes the catch to retire the side. We played an inning, there's no score. We go to the top of the second. It'll be Hickman, Kirkpatrick, and Brinkman for the Corsairs. Hooten has pitched, has thrown 10 pitches so far. Here's Hickman, the pitch to him. Swing and a miss, strike one. Here's the 0 1. Low, ball one. 1 1 pitch. In there for a strike, 1 and 2. 1 and 2 pitch coming. There's a hit, right field. He's there, barely had to move. Makes the catch for the out. That's the first out of the inning. Here's Ed Kirkpatrick, the catcher, the number five hitter. Here's the pitch. Ground ball right at the first baseman. He'll take it himself for the out. That's two away. Here's Brinkman, the shortstop, the number six hitter. Here's the pitch from Hooten. There's a fly ball, shallow. Shortstop is there and makes the catch for the out. That retires the side. Nothing across. We go to the bottom of the second. There's no score. 
For Philadelphia, it'll be the four, five, and six hitters, Hebner, Moda, and Thompson. Here's Richie Hebner. Here's the pitch. Fly ball in the infield. Uh, who's going to get it? The third baseman is there, and he makes the catch. One away. Here's Manny Mota. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. The delivery from Bly Levin. Hi, that's a ball. One and one. Here's the pitch. He hits one to right. He's there. And oh, it's out of play. One and two. The count to Manny Mota. One out, nobody on. Here's the pitch. He found it away. One and two the count. Here's the pitch. Ground ball. Third baseman has it. Peg to first in time for the second out. Nobody on. Two out. Bottom of the second. No score. We've yet to have a hit in this contest. Here's Thompson at the plate. Here's the pitch. That's a ball inside. The 1-0 delivery. Low, ball two. He's falling behind, 2-0. and oh. Here's the pitch. And he spoils it, 2-1. Two 2-1 and one. Two one coming. And he fouls it away, 2-2. Two and two. Two outs, nobody on, 2-2 two -two pitch. Ground ball, pitcher has it. He'll throw the first, and the runner will beat it out. The ump signals safe. First hit of the game, first hit for Philadelphia. Thompson at first, decent speed aboard. Two outs, here's Willie McCovey. Here's the pitch. Pours in a strike. 0 and 1. Two outs, a man on. McCovey at the plate. Here's the pitch. He hits one to r r uh, right field. He's there. Makes the catch to retire the side. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left on. We go to the top of the third, and there's no score. Top of the third inning, Boston will send Melendez, Schmidt, and Blylevin to the plate here in the top of the third. Houghton has thrown 16 pitches in two innings. Here's the pitch. That's a ball. The 1-0. Low, ball two. Behind 2-0 and oh is the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him the swing. 2-1. and one. Here's a delivery. Fly ball, right field. He's running in on it. Makes the catch. First out of the inning. Here's 22-year-old Mike Schmidt. They got him in the 8-hole. He shows real promise. Here's the pitch from Houghton. That's a strike call. Here's the 0 1. Swings and misses. Strike two. Here's the 0 2. It's a fly ball. Right field. And it's a foul ball. O2 pitch coming. And he swings and misses, but the ball gets away. The throw to first, and he's out. No, wait a minute. The call is he strikes out, swinging, pass ball on the catcher, and he reaches first safely. Let's take another look at that one. He swings at the pitch. It gets away. He goes the first. 
The throw is, ma is made, but the ump calls him safe at first. Okay, so Schmidt is at first, decent speed, able to steal bags, Burt Blylevin, the pitcher, is at the plate with one out. He'll probably lay one down to get the runner into scoring position. Let's see what happens. First, a pickoff move to first, and he's back. All right, here's the pitch. He lays one down. Catcher's out there. Throws the first, and he's out at first. Sacrifice made. That's the second out. And Schmidt is at second base. Two out. Here's Merv Rittman, the top of the order. Here's the pitch from Hooten. Ground ball, and it's foul. 0-1, oh the pitch. Inside, 1-1. One one. Schmidt at second, two out. Here's the pitch to Redmond. 1-1 one, one pitch. Low. One. Oh, he's called it a strike. Ump says strike. 1-2. and two. Here's the pitch. He fouled it away. One ball, two strikes, two out, man at second, top of the third, no score. Here's the pitch. There's a ground ball, and it's through. Base hit. That might score the run. And it will. The ump says safe, and the Corsairs are out in front, one nothing. All right. Wayne Garrett comes to the plate. Redmond's at second on the play. Two outs. Here's the pitch from Hooten. That's low. Ball one. The 1-0. -oh. He hits one to the left side. Foul. One and one. Here's the pitch. Low. Ball two. Two and one pitch coming. Swing and a miss, strike two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Man on second, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, and that retires the side. Boston comes up with a run on one hit, no errors. They leave a man on. Boston now leading Philly, one nothing. Here we go, bottom of the third. One nothing Boston. Garrido, Garrido, Gil Garrido, is at the plate. Here's the pitch from Bly Levin. That's low ball one. Here's the one zero. -oh. Outside ball two. The two zero. -oh. That's a ball, and it's through. Wow. First baseman couldn't make the play. It's the 2-0 pitch, the right for a base hit. Garrido is on. I don't know if he's a threat to steal. It's not very fast. Bert Hooten is the, at the plate. Nobody out. He'll probably be bunting. He lays the bunt down. First baseman has it. Goes to the pitcher covering, and that's the out. So Hooten sacrifices, and is out 3-1. Garrido goes to second. Man on second, one out, and here's Rick Monday. And that ball gets away. It's a pass ball, and Garrido will go to third. Runner at third, one out. Monday the batter. The count one and oh. Here's the pitch. He hits a solid shot to left foul. One one the count. Here's the pitch. 
He hits that ball, and it looks like it's going to hit the wall on the fly. That's extra bases. And he is going to make third with a triple, scoring Garrido. And the game is now tied one to one. I think this is the first tie we've ever had in MSB. Except for 0-0. Zero, zero. RBI triple for Rick Monday. And the Freedom tied up 1-1. One, one. Let's take a look at that. Solid drive to the gap in right center. Hits that pole there. And he'll make it all the way to third. Runner at third, one away. And here's Joe Rudy, the number two hitter. Rudy's 0 for 1 so far. Here's the pitch. That's low a ball. Sloppy um, defense by Boston here. Here's the pitch. That's a ball. 2 0. Oh. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Swings at the 2 0 oh pitch. 2 and 1 pitch coming. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Rudy up there hacking. 2-2 two, two delivery. Here's a ground ball. Foul on the right side. Past the first base bag. 2-2. Two and two. Here's the pitch. Fly ball. Right field. Curving foul. Out of play. Here's Rudy, the pitch. He hits a fly ball, curving foul, and out of play. He's up there hacking. Here's the two and two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. He got him. That's the second out of the inning. We're in the top, bottom of the third. It's 1-1. One, one. Monday on third with two outs now. And here's Carlton Fisk, the number three hitter. He's 0 for 1 today. Here's the pitch. And that's a called strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch. He swings and fouls it off. Here's the 0 2. That's inside, ball one. The one two coming. Nice pitch, curve ball. Just falls off the strike zone and a swing and miss for the third and final out. And Freedom get a run and manage to tie the score at one. We go to the top of the fourth. It'll be Dick Allen, Jim Hickman, and Ed Kirkpatrick for the Corsairs. Hooten's thrown 35 pitches in three innings. Here's Dick Allen. The pitch. That's low. Ball one. The 1-0. -oh. Round ball. Third baseman has it. Pegged to first in time. One away. Hebner made a good play there. Here's Jim Hickman. He's 0 for 1 today. The pitch from Hooten. Fly ball. And that's going to go foul. Hickman lined out to right fielder Manny Mota back in the second inning. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Fly ball, center. He's coming in on it. Makes the catch. Line drive on an 0-1 pitch. And that's the second out of the inning. Nobody on. Two outs. Score tied at one. Here's Edgar Patrick. He's 0 for 1. Was retired on a ground ball by McCovey in the second. 
That pitch is a ball, 1 and 0. Here's the 1 0. That's in there for a strike call. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Low, ball 2. 2 and 1 coming. Swing and a miss. That evens it up. 2 2 pitch here. Round ball at the first baseman. He'll take it to first for the easy out. And that retires the side. Going to the bottom of the fourth. Coursers one, freedom one. Here in the bottom of the fourth, Philadelphia will send Hebner, Moda, and Thompson, the four, five, and six hitters. Bly Levin has thrown 42 pitches in three innings. Here's Richie Hebner. The pitch, though, that's ball one. The 1-0. -oh. High, ball two. The 2-0. -oh. There's a foul ball to the stands. Two and one. The pitch. There's a fly ball left field. Pretty deep. He'll make the catch. One away. Here's Manny Mota. He's 0 for 1. The pitch. Low. That's ball one. The pitch. That's in there for a strike call. 1-1 one, one pitch. Round ball. Third baseman has it. Quick throw to the first. And that's a bad throw. Runners going to first. I mean second. On the error. E5. The 70. Defense of Mike Schmidt. The 22 year old. Uncorked one. <laughs> and Moda ends up at second. First error for the Coursers. Here's Danny Thompson with one out and a man on second. Got to pick up your guy now. Fly ball, center. He's racing back. It's off the wall. That's an extra base hit. He slides into second with a double. Manny Mota will score, and the Freedom will take a 2-1 lead on Thompson's two-bagger. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, that one well hit off the top of the wall. Gets it back in. But he slides into second safely. Philly takes a 2-1 lead. Thompson now at second. Two out. I mean, one out. And here's Willie McCovey, the number seven hitter. Here's the pitch from Bly Levin. There's a fly ball, and it's curving foul. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Ground ball, third baseman has it. Throws the first in time, and that's the second out. Man on second, two away now, and here's Gil Garrido. There's the pitch, and that's a strike. You look like you're going to check, but it's a called strike. The 0 1, that's low, ball one. 1 1 pitch, and that's a two. That's a ball, 2 1. Here's the 2 1. Swing and a miss, strike two. 2 2 delivery. There's a fly ball. Center fielder makes a running catch on the line drive. A dying quail, and he gets there in time. That retires the side. Freedom get the run on one hit and one error. They leave a man. Freedom grab the 2-1 lead. We go to the top of the fifth. For the coursers, it'll be Brinkman, Melendez, and Schmidt. Here's Ed Brinkman. Hooten's the 44 pitches now here in the top of the fifth inning. Here's the pitch from Hooten. Ground ball, shortstop. 
rushes the dribbler and makes the pick to first in time for the first stop. Here's Melendez. He's 0 for 1. The pitch from Hooten. And that's a foul ball. 0 and 1. The pitch. Fly ball. Curving foul. 0 and 2 pitch coming. And that's low. Ball 1. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. Round ball, that's foul. The one, two. Fouled it off. Melendez staying alive. Here's the pitch. Fouled it away. He's fighting off some tough pitches from Hooten. That knuckle curve. Round ball, second shortstop has it. The nice pick, the first. And the first baseman digs it out. Second out of the inning. No base runners. Two out. And here's Mike Schmidt. The rookie made an error. I don't know if he's a rookie, but he's 22. Here's the pitch. That's high. Ball one. The 1-0. -oh. And that's a foul ball. 1-1 one, one pitch on its way. Round ball, dribbler, shortstop has it. Peg the first, it's high, but he gets it. That retires the side. Three up, three down for Boston. No change in the score. Freedom leading 2-1. Bottom of the fifth inning. The Freedom will send up the pitcher and then the top of the order, Monday and Rudy. Here's Bert Hooten. He'll bat for himself here in the bottom of the fifth. Here's the pitch. Outside of ball. The 1 0. That's in there for a strike. Hooten checked his swing. The 1 1. Swing and a miss. The 1 2 is ready. The 1 2. That's low. 2 and 2. 2 2 coming to the pitcher. He hits a ball, and that's going to drop for a hit. Bert Hooten gets a single to right, and the leadoff man is aboard. Get him a jacket. Rick Monday now will come to the plate. He's one for two with an RBI. Fly 11 has pitched four innings. He hasn't walked anyone and struck out three batters. He's on his 62nd pitch. 63rd pitch, I should say. Here it is for Monday. He had a run scoring triple. He tied the game in the third. That's a strike called. 0 and 1. The pitch. That's inside. Ball 1. Here's the 1-1 one, one to Monday. He swings. Third baseman has it. Oh, he boots it. And that's E5. Schmidt with his second error of the game. And we've got runners on first and second. Nobody out. Hooten at second. The pitcher. Monday at first, and here's Joe Rudy at the plate. Philadelphia leads 2-1, to one, and they're threatening here in the bottom of five. Here's the pitch from Bly Levin. And he hits a ground ball through past the first baseman. That's a hit to right. And the run will score. And it's now three to one, Philadelphia. Let's take a look at that. Hits it to the first baseman and he can't make the play. 
And the throw comes home, but it's too late. And Philly takes a 3-1 lead. Still nobody out. Here's Fisk. Monday at, at um, was that Hooten that scored? <laughs> uh, I remember him scoring as a Cub. Anyway, Rick Monday at second, Rudy at first, Fisk at the plate, nobody out. Bly, Lab Bly Levin laboring. Here's the pitch. There's a strike call. The 0 1. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Fist with the 0 2. Hits a ball. That's to the right side. Foul. Here's the 0 2, the Fisk. He hits one and it's through past the shortstop. It's another base hit. The run will score and it's 4 to 1. The play is at the plate. Fist delivers a run scoring single, and the Freedom increase their lead to 4 to 1. Let's take a look at that hit. Yep, the shortstop could not get there in time. And the play at the plate. The runner is safe. All right, still nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth. Rudy at second, Fisk at first, Hebner comes to the plate. He's 0 for 2 today. Here's the pitch from Blylevin. That's low for a ball. Ground ball, first baseman has it. He'll go to second and get the force at second. Good play. Smart thinking by Dick Allen there, getting the force at second. But Rudy will go to third. One out now. And here's Manny Mota, the number six hitter. Mota is 0 for 2. Here's the pitch. There's a little blooper to right, and it'll fall in for a hit. Hepner will go to second. Moda with an RBI single. Rudy will score. And it's 5-1, to one, Philly. Three-run fifth inning now. And there's only one out. Here's Danny Thompson. The number six hitter. He's two for two with an RBI. Here's the pitch to Thompson. And that's low ball. Here's the one to Thompson. That's a ball. 2-0 pitch to Danny Thompson. Low. He bunted it. Got a piece of that. Bunted it foul. He's trying to bunt. I don't know why he's trying to bunt. One out. Danny Thompson. Here's the pitch. He squares the bunt again. And it's a ball. It's a 3-1 count to Thompson. He squared every dime. And he bunts now to the first baseline. First baseman takes it, throws to the pitcher covering, and they get the out. And the runners are bunted over. The sacrifice works. They used to play like that in the 70s. Small ball. Here's McCovey. Runners at second and third, two out. Long inning for Bly Levin. He's at 78 pitches. Here's the pitch to McCovey. That's in there, strike call. All one pitch to McCovey. Low, a ball, but he swings at it. 0 and 2. 
Here's the 0-2. That's in the dirt. He doesn't swing at that one. It's one and two. One two pitch coming. He fouls it off. Still one and two. Runners on second and third. Two out. Bottom of the fifth. Philadelphia has opened up this game. They now lead five to one. Here's the pitch to McCovey. That's in the dirt. Two and two. Here's the 2-2 offering. And that's in there. Strike call. And that'll retire the side. Eight men bat for the freedom. With three of them scoring. Philadelphia extends their lead. The score is now 5-1. to one. We go to the top of the sixth. Bert Hooten has thrown 55 pitches through five innings. The pitcher, Bly Levin, will take his wraps. Here's the pitch to him. He swings and fouls it away. Here's the 0-1. Swings again. Misses. 0-2. Here's the 0-2 pitch. He grounds it. Foul. To the right side. Here's the 0-2. That's low, ball one. Here's the one two pitch. Strike three. That's in there for a strike call. He never took the bat off his shoulder. Hooten has now struck out three in this game. Top of the order, here's Merv Retton for the Corsairs. The pitch. Low, ball one. Here's a pitch. That's a low one. He checked his swing. And it's 2-0. and oh. Here's the pitch. Low. 3-0. and 3-0 oh. oh pitch. He takes it. Strike one. Here's the 3-1. He swings at it. Fouls it off. Full count. 3-2. Merv Redman at the plate. One out, nobody on. Here's the pitch. He piles, fouls it away. Here's the pitch. There's a pop-up on the infield. First baseman looks like he's going to get it. Second baseman calls for it and makes the catch. That's the second out of the inning. Boston has one run on one hit, two errors. Here's Wayne Garrett coming to the plate. Hooten has switched five and two thirds. He's given up one hit. He hasn't walked anybody and he struck out three. Here's the pitch. That's inside ball one. One-oh. There's a fly ball to center. And it's over his head. I don't know if he misplayed it. Or if it just sailed on him. But that's a double. They score that a double. So Garrett is at second. And the Corsairs are in business with two outs here. In the top of the six. Dick Allen comes to the plate. Here's the pitch to Dick Allen. He hits a ball to left. Right at the left fielder. For the out, and that retires the side. He hit it on the button, but right at the left fielder. No runs, one hit, no errors. A man left on. Freedom are still leading 5-1. to one. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. For Philly, it'll be Garrido, the pitcher Hooten, and Monday. Here's Gil Garrido. The pitch from Bly Levin. That's low, ball one. 1-0. One -oh. He hits it to right field, curving, foul. 1-1 one -one pitch. Ground ball, that's a foul ball to the right side. Here's the 1-2. 
He fouled it away. 1-2 pitch. Strike. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That's the first out of the inning. Here's the pitcher, Hooten. Hooten's got a hit today. He's one for one. Here's the pitch. That's outside a ball. I think I remember him hitting, being able to hit. Here's the pitch. That's low. Ball two. You don't want to walk the pitcher. 2-0 to the pitcher. And it's 3-0. They're scared of him. They're going to put him on. Here's the 3-0 to the pitcher. He hits it. It's slicing foul. He came right down the pike and he put a swing on it. Here's the 3-1 to the pitcher. That's in there. Strike call. Full count to the pitcher. Payoff. High ball four. He walked the pitcher. I think that's the first walk issued in this game. Hooten at first. No threat to steal. Give him his jacket. Here's Rick Monday, the top of the order. Here's the pitch. That's low. Ball one. Here's the pitch. That's a called strike. It's one and one. Hooten on first. There's only one out here in the bottom of the sixth. Monday hits a drive. That's going all the way out of the park. Two run shot for Rick Monday. And it's now seven to one Philly. At least Hooten gets the trot home. They walk the pitcher, and Monday goes deep. Let's take a look. Yeah, he got all of that one. Nice trajectory. I should have looked at the, the stat thing. Let me see if I remember how to do it. <laughs> this Philly team, I, I don't know. I think they're pretty, pretty, pretty good. Let me see. Shift F10. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, Shift F10. There we go. Well, they get to show you went 413 feet. Exit velocity was 103. And I get to see Rick Monday trot home. Launch angle 30 degrees. He had a curveball, 74 miles an hour. All right. And also brought home his starting pitcher. All right, one out. Bottom of the sixth. Joe Rudy at the plate. Fly 11 still in there. Here's the pitch. He singled in the fifth. One hit and three at bats. That's a strike called. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Low. It's even at 1. The 1 1 pitch. Put his bat out there and it goes foul. Here's the 1 2. He swings and that's going to go foul. The 1 2 pitch. That's 1 to center. And it's over his head. It's going to go right to the wall. And the thing disappeared. That was interesting. <laughs> and that's a double. He knocked the whole thing out of kilter. He couldn't see anything. Let's take a look at that double. Yeah. Got all of it. And it goes to the wall. And it showed us that blank stare. Whatever that was. The glitch in the matrix. And Joe Rudy's on second with a double. Ten hits for the freedom. Here's Carlton Fisk. They are having no problem with the legend, Bird Blylevin. Here's Fisk. 
Run scoring single in the fifth. And there's a fly ball to left. And the catch is made. The second out. Philly seven, Boston one. I think we had a tie in this game. But that was a long time ago. Here's Richie Hebner. He hits one foul. Here's the 0-1. That's high, ball one. The 1-1 one, one pitch, low, ball two. Here's the 2-1. That's low, three and one. The 3-1, he hits it, second baseman has it, throws him out at first, and that retires the side. That does it for Philly in the six, two runs on two hits, no errors, and they left the man on. Philly now add to their lead, it's 7-1. to one. Top of the seventh inning for Boston, Hickman, Kirkpatrick, and Brinkman come to the plate. Hooten with 70 pitches through six innings. Here's the pitch. Low, that's ball one. Here's the 1 0. That's low. No, that's called a strike. Generous call. It's 1 and 1. That's off. That looked good. It's 2 and 1. 2-1 coming. He swings. Foul ball to the right side. Here's the 2-2 offering. He hits it. Foul to the left side. 2-2 two two the count. Nobody out. That's low. And the count is full. Here's the payoff. He hits it to right field. And it's a foul ball. Here's a 3-2 pitch. Gets a piece of it. Fouls it off. 3-2. That's low. He'll take his base. Fought off some good pitches. And gets a base on balls. Hickman. It's a good runner. He can steal second. Here's Kirkpatrick. First walk issued by Hooten. Nobody out, man on. Here's the pitch. That's uh, a strike. Runner going, and he's in there. Hickman steals second base. Boston trying to get something going here in the late going. The pitch to Kirkpatrick. That's low. Count is one and one. The pitch. That's a ball. Two and one. That's low. Three and one. Is he trying to get the double play in order? Three one pitch coming. It's low. Ball four. Well, the double play is now in order. Nobody out. Two men on. Boston threatening. Here's Ed Brinkman, the shortstop. The pitch from Hooten. It's a fly ball, center. He's coming in on it. Makes the catch. And that's one out. Hickman at second, Kirkpatrick at first. One out. And here's Luis Melendez. Here's the pitch from Hooten. Swing and a miss, strike one. The 0-1. He fouled that one. 0-2. There's the pitch to Melendez. He hits it in the air. And that's going to curve foul. 0-2 pitch. Ground ball. Third baseman charges it. Throws the first in time. The runners advance. 
Hickman now at third. Kirkpatrick now at second. Schmidt steps to the place. plate. He's got two errors in this game. The sure-handed third baseman. But he's 22. Let's see what he can do with his bat here in this situation. There's the pitch. It's low. Ball one. Here's the 1-0. Low again. Ball two. Houghton is missing. Ground ball. Foul. The 2-1 offering. Schmidt hits it foul to the left side. 2-2 two, two pitch coming. Round ball up the middle. Base hit. That'll score two runs. Here's a man trying to score the play at the plate, and he's safe. Two more runs score for the course. No, two. Yes, two more runs for the Corsairs, and they've cut the deficit to four. Seven to three now. Let's take a look at that. Yep, nice hit up the middle. Schmidt does something good with his bat. The play is at the plate, and the runner is safe. I think Schmidt took second on the play at home. Here's Cito Gaston, the pinch hitter for the pitcher. Bert Blylevin. Gaston pinch hitting for Blylevin. Here's the pitch to him. Ground ball. It's the first pitch. Shortstop had it. Boots it. E6. Schmidt will go to third. Philly showing some chinks in the armor. Two on, two out. And the leadoff man, Murr Rettman, steps to the plate. Chance for more here. Here's the pitch from Hooten. That's high. Ball one. Two on, two out. 7-3 to score. Boston has put two on the board here in the top of the seventh. Here's the pitch from Hooten. He fouls it away. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Low. Two and one. Hooten at 98 pitches here in the top of the seventh. Here's the 2-1 offering. Ground ball. Second baseman has it. Goes the second for one. And that was the end of the inning. Me out to the ball game. Gee, me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I ever get back. Oh, it's root, root, root for the... All right. I hope you stretched. Bottom of seven. For Philly, it'll be Moda, Thompson, and McCovey. We have a pitching change. Barry Lersh will be the new pitcher for the Boston Coursers. Here's the pitch. That's in there for a strike call. Here's the 0-1. Swing and a miss, strike two. Here's the 0-2 to Mona. That's high, ball one. The 1-2 offering. He hits one up the middle, base hit. Tried to get him, and Moda caught up with it. Single, and the leadoff man is aboard. Good speed aboard. And here's Danny Thompson at first. Uh, Danny Thompson coming to the plate. Moda at first. Nobody out. Here's the pitch. That's lower ball. Here's the 1 0. That's lower ball. He's behind 2 0. Throw the first. And the runner gets back. 
2 0 offering to Thompson. That's in there. A strike. 2 and 1 pitch coming. He grounds it to second. He'll go to second base on the fielder's choice and get his man. Takes the lead runner out. And it looks like Moda was injured on the play. The trainer examines his right hand. And it is not serious. He can remain in the game. Good news. That's one out. Bottom of seven. Danny Thompson, the runner at first. And Willie McCovey will come to the plate. McCovey is 0 for 3 today. Here's the pitch from Lersh. That's low. Checks the runner. There's the 1 0, and it's 2 0. He's missing low. The 2 0, and that's 3 0. The runner is going to take second on a wild pitch. They might want to talk to this guy. No mound visits in this game. At least the catcher should go talk to him. All right. 3-0. and oh. Is he taking all the way? He takes the strike. All right. Here's the 3-1 to McCovey. And ball four. He walked him. Two on, one out. And here's Gil Garrido. Thompson at second. McCovey at first. Garrido at the plate. One out. 7-3 the score. Philly with a chance for more. That is in there. Strike call. Good pitch. Here's the 0-1. He hits one to center. Center fielder is there. He'll make the catch. Two outs. And the pitcher comes to the plate, Bert Hooten. He's one for one. And he's also got a base on balls. And a run scored. He's had quite the day. Here's the pitch, just two outs. Ground ball, hit that pretty good. To the shortstop. He'll make the play at second for the fielder's choice, and that retires the side. That's all for Philadelphia in the seventh. Two base runners, but the Freedom do not score. Freedom remain out in front, seven to three. We go to the top of the eighth. For Boston, it'll be Garrett, Allen, and Hickman. Here's Wayne Garrett. Bert Hooten's still out there. He's pitched seven strong, walked two, struck out three. He's thrown 99 pitches through seven innings. Here's the pitch. Low. That's a ball. <clears throat> and he fouled that one. It's one and one. The pitch. Low. Two and one. The two one offering. Ground ball dribbler. Pitcher has it. He'll throw the first in time. First out. Good play on both ends. Can be tricky. Here's Dick Allen. Dick is 0 for 3 today. One out. Boston needs some help. There are four runs behind. There's a ball. And it's a it's a ball. The 1-0. Strike call. This one and one. And that's the strike call. It's one and two. Coming after Dick Allen. Here's the one two offering. And he gets him. Got the call on the pitch in the bottom of the zone. And that's the second out. Here's Jim Hickman with two outs, nobody on. 
The pitch. That's in there. Strike. He's in a rhythm. The 0 1 offering. It's low, but he swings at it. 0 and 2. Got him off balance. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And the side is retired. Nothing across for Boston. The score is unchanged. 7 3 Freedom. Bottom of the eighth. Philly will send up the top of the order. Monday, Rudy, and Fisk. Here's Rick Monday. Back in the six, he made it 7 to 1 with a two run shot. That's inside a ball. Here's the pitch. Round ball, dribbler to the pitcher. He'll make the throw to first in time, first out of the inning. Here's Joe Rudy. He's two for four with a R RBI. One out. Here's the pitch to Joe Rudy. That's low, but he swings. Strike one. The O one. That's in there. Strike two. Here's the 0-2 pitch to Joe Rudy. Fouls it away. Coming right after him. Here's the 0-2. That's low. Ball one. Here's the 1-2 offering. That's low. Ball two. Rudy not biting on those two. Here's the 2-2 pitch. That's in there. Oh, didn't get that one. It's high. Count goes full. Payoff pitch to Joe Rudy. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That was a good at bat. That's the second out. Here's Carlton Fisk. He's one for four with a run batted in. Here's the pitch to Fisk. He checks his swing, but it's a called strike. Here's the 0-1. That's high. Ball one. The pitch to Fisk. High. Ball two. He's missing up. The pitch. He hits one. And he hits it right to the left fielder to retire the side. One, two, three, go Philadelphia. Freedom still remain in front, seven to three. Time for the ninth inning. Boston trail by four. For the Coursers, it'll be Kirkpatrick, Brinkman, and Melendez. Bert Hooten is still on the mound. He's thrown 110 pitches through eight innings. He's going to try to complete the game. Here's the first pitch to Kirkpatrick. Ground ball. Shortstop has it. The peg to first in time. One pitch, one out. Here's Eddie Brinkman. Here's the pitch. He hits it. Shortstop. And he can't get it. Brinkman is aboard with a base hit. One out single. Boston is still in this thing. Trailing by four runs. Here's Melendez. Hooten, eight and a third, two walks, five strikeouts, four hits allowed, two earned runs. Here's the pitch. That's a ball, one and oh. The one oh offering. Pours in a strike, one and one. Swing and a miss, strike two. Good pitch. Here's the one two offering. Swing and a miss, strike three. Good pitching by Bert Hooden to get the second out of the inning. 
One out away. And here's Mike Schmidt. Had an interesting day. He's one for three with two RBIs, and he's got two errors at third. Here's the offering from Hooten. He goes the first with a pickoff attempt. And the runner's back. Here's the pitch. Fly ball, right field. He'll make the catch, and that's your ball game. The Philadelphia Freedom have won their first contest ever, defeating the Boston Coursers 7-3. We'll say so long from Veteran Stadium, where the final is Philadelphia Freedom 7, Boston Patriots 3. Let's take a look at the box score. Let's look at the totals for today's ball game. First, for the victorious Philadelphia Freedom. Seven runs on 11 hits, one error. The Philadelphia Freedom left eight men on base. The winning pitcher, Bert Hooten, he pitches nine complete, allows four hits, three runs, two of them earned. He walked two and struck out six. He hurled 117 pitches. His ERA is 2.00. He is the player of the game. For the Boston Coursers, three runs on four hits, two errors. They left five men on base. The losing pitcher, Blurt Bly Bert Blylevin, he's 0-1. He, he pitched six innings, allowed ten hits, seven runs, five earned. He walked one and struck out five. Gave up a home run. He threw 109 pitches. His ERA is 7.5. Lursch pitched, pitched two innings, allowed a hit, walked one, struck out one. He threw 29 pitches. It was a crowd of 26,591 that saw the contest. 56 degrees with the wind blowing to left to right at 9 miles an hour. see who got multiple hits. For Boston, they only got four hits and no one had more than one. Rettman, Garrett, Brinkman, and Schmidt each had a hit. Schmidt had two RBI, Redman won. For Philly, we had four players who had multiple hits. Monday, Rudy, Moda, and Thompson each had two hits. Fisk, Garrido, and Hooten also had hits. 11 total for the team. Three runs batted in for Monday. One each for Rudy, Fisk, Moda, and Thompson. Hooten scored two runs. He's hitting 500 on the year, I want you to know. He's one for two. Two runs scored. He walked once. He left two men on base out. Freedom win at home, 7-3. to three. The Philadelphia Freedom ushered in the 1972 season with a win versus the Boston Coursers at Veterans Stadium. The final score was 7-3. to three. Starting pitcher Bert Hooten had a standout performance. Hooten went the distance for Philadelphia. He gave up three runs on four hits. The Freedom got a big at bat from shortstop Danny Thompson. For the game, Thompson went two for three with a double. In the bottom of the fourth, with a runner on second, he stroked a run scoring double. His first double of the season gave Philadelphia a two to one lead, and they didn't look back. Burt just went about his business throwing strikes at Philadelphia manager Frank Lucchese. Hooten has 
now the number three performer behind Kingman and Gary Nolan of the Blue Sox.